I'm Eddie Field with Field Guided DIY. You want to know how to use a scroll saw? Well, let's dive in. The difference between a jigsaw and a scroll saw is with the jigsaw, you have to turn the tool. But with the scroll saw, you turn the wood. Then you can come back in and clean up your corners. And you can actually use the blade to sand with. You want to look for a scroll saw that has a variable speed, like this one. You use faster speeds for finer, more intricate cuts, like if you got a lot of turning to do. Scroll saw uses a single strip blade, like this one. Some of them have pins at the top and bottom to hold them in place. Others, like this model, have a set screw that holds it in place. You install it with the teeth pointing down. Trace your pattern onto the wood and follow the line. Like I said, the thicker the stock, the slower you have to go. Or the more intricate cuts, the slower you'll have to go. The blade cuts the wood on the down stroke. You can use it for thicker stock or thinner stock, like this quarter inch plywood. But the thicker the stock, the slower you're going to have to take your turns, otherwise you're going to snap the blade. The more starts and stops, the more sanding you're going to have to do. I picked this scroll saw up new for about a hundred bucks. So if you're crafty, you may want to think about getting a scroll saw. To see how we use this scroll saw in several holiday projects, click the link in the description.